assalamu alaikum may peace be with you welcome to my channel guys uh, uh, this video i'm going to show you how to uh, install the astm and uh, how we can use uh, ftp server and uh, transfer files from our host computer to asa just in case if we do not have ASTM software installed on the ASA then how we can transfer that file from our host computer to ASA so let's start the so task is we need to install the ASTM and uh, we want to use the GUI ASTM to manage this ASA firewall so first of all uh, we need to configure the management interface so to save time I have already configured uh, my management interface and uh, then the second step comes the connectivity we need to make sure that uh, we can access the ASA from either from our host computer uh, the host computer where we are running our this eblab or we need to have some like guest operating system like Windows XP uh, installed in our lab i'm not using uh, uh, adding a separate node for this i'm using my uh, host computer astm so for that uh, uh, you can see here my this is my eve network that i'm using uh, 10.100.145 that's my network and uh, management network for the eve and with using this network i can i'm able to access this eve that i have installed on my vmware and we can i can show you here the settings we need to make sure that uh, asa we can reach to the asa from the same network or any of the network that we are using within our lab so right here uh, I'm connected with this NAT adapter and if I can show you uh, on my command line So here we can see we have all of these VMware uh, network adapters and uh, this is the network adapter that I, I am connected with my EVE and uh, this is quite important to understand how this is set up so that uh, you have connectivity first of all established to your ASA firewall So here you can see I have uh, 10.100.145 is my Eve IP address and then the host that is running my Eve is running on is 10.100.0.1 so that's the IP address of the host which that is hosting this Eve so we need to remember this IP right so now we need to bring this ASA on the same network so we can use right click node like I have added this node uh, network sorry not node network and then we can use this management cloud so that's the we need to select this management cloud like uh, I have selected here if I do add it you can see here you can give any name I can say management and then the this is important that you are select you select this management if you want to bring this onto the same network right so we just save this and then connect this our management network like I have done this connect my management network to this cloud 
So now my ASA is connected to the same network right here. Okay, and uh, then we can go to our ASA and I can show you the config that you need to do. Show show run interface management 0 slash 0 right so this is the config that you need to do you need to give the name management name if management security level you can assign 50 I have assigned and the IP address here you can see that IP address I have given to my management on the same network that I'm doing my Eve right and uh, then once you do the con this configuration then you can just test ping 10.100.0.1 so one is my host so my host should respond this ping you can see over here now this is my host the computer on that i'm running this whole lab so so my ASA now can reach out to this subnet now once this is done we need to enable on ASA the, the configuration uh, HTTPS so that we can do management for that the configuration that we need to do is I can show you show run and uh, right so you need to do these these two you need to enable first of all you need to enable HTTP server server enable and then second you need to do uh, you need to do HTTP and then the network the network is 10.100.0.0 right the same network that we just configured and uh, then space the management this is the, this is our uh, kind of zone you can say management zone right so this is two and then finally you need to create a user show run so for that So I have created a user with my name, just given a password, and then privilege level 15. So this this is all. This is all you need. You need to configure the interface. Then you need to enable HTTPS. And then finally, you need to create a user that you are going to access, and uh, the connectivity that I have showed you. Then finally, you can just open up a browser and then you can browse to the HTTP, HTTP and then uh, IP address of the firewall 201. So once you'll see this face, uh, this page, this is the installer. If you click this installer, this will actually download this ASTM onto your local machine on the on your host and then you, then you can actually install so it will download in the download folder so right here I can show you that I have already downloaded it. so it will download into your uh, downloads folder like this and then finally once it's download you can click and start installation of the ASTM and if the, it doesn't work if the latest Java version you need the latest Java version installed on your system to run ASTM if it's not then you can click here and then update the Java first and once you update then finally you'll be able to see ASTM that will be available in your program the Cisco ASTM launcher you click launch the ASTM right so once you have this then you can give the IP address 
10.100.0.201 management IT IP and the username so this is how you will install and uh, log in to your <coughs> ASTM all right so now <coughs> the second part if let's say you don't have this ASTM on your firewall then you need in that case you need to you need to download ASTM software from AS, uh, from the Cisco website and uh, once you download then you need to transfer this using FTP server I think uh, I've just forgotten the password maybe that's the issue uh, Maybe I have to change this password and then I can show you this later. And let's me let me show you first uh, how you do the uh, TFTP server. Uh, for that TFTP server, uh, I'm using uh, this uh, mobile stream software. This is quite software. And uh, with here, you can see I have lots of servers, default servers available. So all I need to do is start uh, FTP server, all right? So this will be the root directory of your server. So anything that you need to transfer or copy will be available in this uh, uh, directory. And uh, your server is started. All you need to do is uh, go to this directory or you can point this directly to your download folders where you have uh, downloaded your uh, ASTM and then finally once it's done then from your ASA you need to use the command copy copy and then FTP so this FTP server will be running on your on your uh, local host and uh, it will be available on VMware uh, network adapter cards they are connected in all of these so that means over in our network in our case the network that we are using they are connected to it will be running on listening on this one this IP address so you need to uh, make sure that you do uh, do you use the correct IP address right and understand that how the connectivity is of your ASA so that you can easily uh, transfer these files otherwise it will not work so now my my FTP server that I've started is running and listening on this IP so from my firewall I can let's uh, uh, we just copy some random file Let's go to our document. I just wanted to show you that how you do a copy. So let's go to our document. Sorry, downloads. Okay. Okay, let's say we copy some small file right so let's copy this name and uh, our directory we know that it's pointing to downloads folder let's check again once you can click here server and then click these properties yes so this is our directory where this we can and then we need to use the command copy FTP slash front slash and then the IP address of the server where it's listening that is your host IP address right and then the file name right and then you need to tell where it to copy it I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell the flash and 
right so it's asking about address yes correct this is the address and then this is the file we are copying this is on the destination the same file is asking yes allow that all right it's probably it's uh, some error in while reading this but you can see that it it successfully reached there let's uh, select a, a different copy a different file let's copy this text file I'm going to copy this and then paste it into my download folder you can select any folder that uh, you are comfortable with let's chuck this here and edge.txt that's the file let's go back to our firewall and then up arrow 